Hi everyone, my name is Precious and you're welcome back to the channel Beyond the Blows where we'll talk about everything affecting our present reality. Okay, I would like to ask for more likes, shares, comments and subscribes and a big thank you to every person who has been dropping subscribes, likes and comments so far. This topic today is going to be centered on two topics I had earlier done because I got a few people reaching out to me asking me to expand shade on stem cells and ADHD. So I'm going to start with stem cells. What are stem cells? Well, cells, stem cells are cells are undifferentiated cells. Okay. And it, it's what it basically means is these are not cells that are categorized. You can't, they are not really classified. They are cells that can break and multiply and form themselves and they are also cells that can also break and form themselves into other cells of course you know we have four types of cells which is the nerve cells we have the connective tissue cells and we have the muscle cells and we have the epithelial cells all right so stem cells have that unique formation to make itself into all these other classified cells. And it also has the unique ability to remain a stem cell. And when it remains a stem cell, it can continue to break and reproduce itself into same undifferentiated stem cells, okay? And it also has the ability to break and become differentiated cells which are like the blood cells the muscle cells and the other underlying cells so okay examples of stem cells let's just say the first example of stem cell is an ovum being fertilized by spermatozoa of course during that fertilization process a new organism is formed but i would i wouldn't like to dive into that but that is the first example of stem cell production the second exam i think a second example i would like to give is leukemia we all know leukemia is cancer of the blood and in in cases where a person has le leukemia all right uh, research has shown that if that bad blood is being washed out of the system, okay, new stem cells can be injected into the bone marrow to start reproducing and create new vibrant cells, new vibrant blood cells. Research is going on to begin to use stem cells, okay, or stem cell therapies to make unique drugs for individuals of course you know that's going to cost come at a high cost but it, it's it's actually possible it's actually possible also in the large intestine it's important to know that every human sheds the outer layer of the large intestine and this is made possible. The reason why your large intestine hasn't erupted yet is because there are stem cells on the line on that they ask themselves under the surface of your large intestine so every four days when a person sheds what happens a new stem cell reproduces to cover it up don't you just love stem cells <laughs> so they are good for regenerative processes that part where, you know, research is going on to help create unique drugs for individuals with stem cell is called regenerative medicine. Of course, a lot of research is still going on. Now, down to attention deficit disorder. This is a chronic condition where a person has difficulty with attention. A person is impulsive 
and the person also has issues with hyperactivity. Now, the thing about attention deficit disorder is it begins from childhood and a child who develops attention deficit disorder and it isn't noticed in time there are going to be some major complications in adulthood because attention deficit disorder has it has links with low self esteem it has links with impulsiveness so it is said that according to research again that a person who has attention deficit disorder is going to have work problems is going to have school problems is going to have problems in their relationships so most times when a person when you see a person some people be like oh okay yes about einstein actually had this case of attention deficit disorder but most times some people be like well i have attention deficit disorder that's why i don't care about my looks yes it's a disorder that makes you hyperactive and impulsive okay sometimes you are inattentive sometimes you are unorganized but it it really doesn't have anything to do with your looks if you are dirty you are dirty so sorry about that if you are scattered you are scattered and the fact that you know you have adhd should actually begin to make you make the conscious effort to fix those issues where you know attention deficit disorder is responsible now it is important to know that adhd cannot be cured but it can be managed in the sense that you can manage it with talk therapy. Yes, talk therapy is very important. We need to establish therapy in our society again. Like people need to stop being afraid of going to therapists. Psychologists, therapists are there for a reason. Patronize them, for real. Also, medication also helps with attention deficit disorder. So, are you someone who has attention deficit disorder? Do you does your child have symptoms of attention deficit disorder? This is the time to go for a test to assess in your suspicions, okay? And if it turns out your child has attention deficit disorder, now is the time to start putting in the necessary efforts and activities to help manage this condition. If you can afford the medication, do get the medication. If you can, if you can establish the time for talk therapy, then please go do that so that this is not going to be a serious problem in that child's adulthood. And if you're an adult who has attention deficit disorder, you can manage this problem. Begin to talk about it. Express your feelings. You have to learn to speak about it. All right. This is the end of the show. Thank you. And have a wonderful day. Do subscribe. Okay. And like. Bye for now. <laughs>